Hi, welcome back. Today's geometry lesson, we're going to be reviewing the different types of quadrilaterals. Last week, I introduced to you all the different shapes that make up a quadrilateral. Today's lesson is going to be a review of those shapes, plus a really fun activity where you get to make your own quadrilateral robot. So let's get started. Okay, now that I have my shape set up, let's do a little review before we get started with our fun activity today. Now remember, a quadrilateral is a polygon with four sides and four angles. So you'll see here that all of my shapes have four sides, one, two, three, four, and four angles. Now remember, angles are where two sides come together to form this space right here. One, two, three, four. That's what's so special about quadrilaterals. Quad means four, so everything has four sides and four angles. So let's get started labeling all of our different quadrilaterals. The first one I have is an easy one. It's a square. A square has four equal sides and four right angles. There is my square. My next shape is a basic quadrilateral. The basic quadrilateral is basically a shape with four sides and they're all different lengths. So I can tell because I've used my box of sticks that this is a basic quadrilateral. It has a blue side, a green side, an orange side, and a yellow side. They're all different lengths and that's what makes this a basic quadrilateral. My next shape is a rectangle and just like the square it has four sides and four right angles however two sides are short and two sides are long and that's what makes a rectangle this next shape is called a rhombus it has four equal sides they're all the same the only difference is they're a bit slanted so i can tell because these are all the same color and a bit slanted compared to my square, that this is a rhombus. It also kind of reminds me of a diamond shape, rhombus. Another shape is a parallelogram. Now, can you remember the parallelogram? It's when two sides are parallel. It has two sets of those. So over here I can see I have two tan sticks and those are parallel. That means they go on and on and they never meet one another. And there's another set of parallel lines, these two pink ones. These two can also go on and on and they'll never meet. That's how I know this shape is a parallelogram because two sets are parallel. And my last shape is a, my favorite one, trapezoid. The trapezoid has only one pair of parallel sides. And I can tell because here I have my two red sticks, a tan and an orange. However, if I come around and show you this, these two sides are parallel. If I were to keep walking, they'll never meet. So it has only one set of parallel lines. This is a trapezoid. Now that we've done our review and we've gotten to uh, go over all of these shapes, now is the time for creating our really fun quadrilateral robot. So stick tight and hold on and I will show you how to do that next. Okay, let's get started with our quadrilateral robot project. Now just still just so you know, I am a little obsessed with robots. I love drawing robots and making them at home. So this is like a, such a fun project for me to share with you today. So as you can see, I have my list of quadrilaterals over here. It's just a printable that I have on our website and that's gonna help me to know uh, which shapes I need to include because I don't wanna leave any out. I also have a thick piece of cardstock. That's where I'm gonna glue my robot. And then I have my scissors and a glue stick. And you'll see I already cut out a bunch of different quadrilaterals down here. 
I have my uh, rhombus, I have some trapezoids, I have some rectangles of different sizes, shapes, and colors. I have squares, small squares, medium, and even large squares. So let's get started. What you want to do is you'll want to create the body, and the body is the biggest part. I chose for mine a rectangle in my favorite color. Next, I cut out another shape, a square, and that is going to be the head of my robot. Now, the fun part is, you notice I'm not gluing my shapes down. That's because I want to just test out different designs before I make my final decision. And so I want to play around with some of my shapes to find the design that I like best and then glue it. Okay, so let me see. I feel like these would be fun. Just have, make some arms. Let me see. Okay. I think I'll go like this. And my robot needs to move around, so we got to put some legs on this guy. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. I think I. I think I. He needs some feet. There we go. We have some feet. So far, so good. Uh, let's get some eyes in here. I think these dark rectangles are great for eyes. And I cut some smaller rect rectangles in a lighter color because I want to make some little eyes. I'm not sure if you've ever played Minecraft, but this sort of reminds me of Minecraft a little bit. It's very pixelated looking. Okay, so I have my mouth and my eyes. Oh, I'm going to make a little... I'm going to put some teeth in there, a little tongue. Okay. Next, I feel like our, my robot needs some arms. Hmm. I think this parallelogram would be perfect. I'm just going to cut it to make it smaller. There we go. He's putting his arms up. He's super excited. He's like, yay, Heather's finally making a robot. Woohoo. Okay. Next, I would like to put some, maybe some hands or something. I'm going to use these shapes. Now, if you forget and you're not sure what the shapes are, you can slide this over and you can help make a little uh, sheet for yourself. And this way, if you forget the names of the shapes, you have this nearby and you can uh, study the shapes and, and their names so that you don't forget because there are a lot of names and it can be tricky to remember all of them. So if I was uh, still trying to remember my shapes, I could pick this up and go over to my paper and say, oh, yep, that's a rhombus. Oh yeah, the rhombus. It's like a diamond. These are gonna be my robot's hands. Hmm, what else? I feel like I need some more squares. I have a lot of squares. These are gonna be some buttons. so that my robot can be turned on and off. Ooh, I think I'm gonna put an antenna. That would be fun. It's a little antenna. Let's put this up on top. Hmm, I have these two little tiny little squares. Maybe I'll put these as like shoelaces or bows or something. Okay, what else? I feel like I should add something else. I don't have, a basic quadrilateral where all the sides are different, and this would be the perfect basic quadrilateral. Maybe I'll put this on the ground. He's going to be trying to pick this up later. And let's see, let's see. I really like this. I like this rhombus. Where could I put this rhombus? I think I'll have it down here. Like he's gathering, he's gathering his shapes. another one of these. That'll go down there for another button. Okay, dokie. And, oh, I could have, I, maybe I'll put this on the bottom like grass. That's a good idea. My quadrilateral, quadrilateral bot is taking a walk. Once I have my design situated in the way that I want it, then I'll take my glue stick and glue all the parts down. 
And then comes the fun part. After you've created your quadrilateral robot, see how many shapes you can name without looking at the sheet. So you could flip the sheet over, cover it up, no peeking, peeking. And then you can take a minute to see if you can remember. Hmm, let me see. I know there was one shape. Heather said it was called a trapezoid. Trapezoid. Is that the one that has the two sets of, it has, oh, it has one set of parallel lines. I think it goes like this. Hmm, I think that might be it. Let me see. And then you can flip your paper over. Yes, I was right. Trapezoid. It has those two that those two parallel lines here. And the other lines go off in a different direction. Okay, okay. Let me try again. And then I can continue to see how many quadrilaterals I can name without even peeking. It might take me a few times because there are a lot of shapes. But this is a good way for you to use your hands and your eyes as well as the tools nearby to help you to remember and learn what all the different quadrilaterals are. Because like I said, they're important shapes too, just like triangles. Well, I hope you enjoyed this and I can't wait to see what kind of robot you create. Remember, try to include all the different shapes that we talked about today. See you soon.